Hi, it's Neil from the Fix Yourself channel. I got a Ford Explorer here. Exhaust is pretty noisy. Doesn't sound too bad on the inside right now because the wheel bearings are making more noise than the exhaust, but trust me, it's loud. And uh, so I ordered a new stainless steel Bolera exhaust system off of Amazon for about 460 bucks. And uh, we'll put that on and we'll see how that goes. As you can see, the exhaust is pretty loud. Hardly any of it comes out the tailpipe either. And that's almost all coming out of the muffler. Because the muffler has a big hole in it. So let's see if we can take care of that. All right, I'm gonna take a look underneath our Ford Explorer here. Look at the original exhaust system, see what we're dealing with. Um, where it's gonna to connect to the pipe off the catalytic converter. Even the pipe on the catalytic converter is rusted pretty bad. So I'm gonna to have to fabricate a new flange to go on that because that flange is pretty much totally rusted away. There's not much left of that sucker, so hopefully I can cut off a piece of pipe that'll slide over here and I can weld a flange to it and then clamp it here because it would be darn hard to, to weld on the top of that pipe while it's attached to the vehicle. And of course the catalytic converter is quite expensive. The bolts, the original bolts that held it on are in pretty bad shape. I don't even think I'm going to try and take the nuts off it in the usual fashion. I think I'm just going to cut it because I don't think that uh, there's any sense in even trying to save them. Try and cut them off with a die grinder, I believe. Here's our muffler that's totally rusted out. I think I'm going to cut the rear pipe off the muffler. I'm going to take the... Uh, pipe off the back and get as much weight off this as possible and uh because i think this is going to be the trickiest part <laughs> cutting this off here if i try to cut it off right now i'm sure it'll get some binding i don't know we'll have to figure something out cut them bolts maybe i'll cut them bolts first i got a hanger here supporting the weight the other thing is our spare tire is just gonna it's just going to make things craft. I got the spare tire and this heat shield. I think I'm going to remove them. It'll just make it a little bit easier to do the job. So that's why I'm going to start off with. I'm going to remove the spare tire. I'll have to cut where it uh, meets the muffler. And uh, then remove the exhaust system. All right, I got the spare tire removed and the heat shield to protect the spare tire from the hot exhaust removed. Now I'm gonna take out this uh, exhaust system and I'm gonna have to cut it where the pipe meets the muffler. And I think I'm gonna use a die grinder with a cutter blade on it to do that. And then I'll also have to cut the bolts that hold it to the pipe that goes to the catalytic converter. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I couldn't get you over the top of the pipe with the die grinder, so I switched to a Sawzall, and plus that made it easier to uh, take out over, from over the rear axle. I just cut it again and just made things a lot easier. I also cut off the exhaust hangers uh, with the uh, Sawzall. I, I think it's going to be easier to just take out that stub of exhaust hanger that's left over in that rubber than it would be to fight with it on the exhaust system. So now we'll cut the front bolts, and I think I'm going to use the die grinder for that. Well, it turns out I don't even need to cut the front bolts off, at least to get the exhaust off. All the stress from cutting on the back uh, kind of broke it. It was rusted so bad. So now all I got to do is remove the muffler, and uh, then we can start working on that part of it. 
Okay, there's our old muffler next to the new one. I think it's safe to say that uh, we got every available mile out of that that muffler. 77,000 miles. Of course, it's been bad for about 20,000 miles. Um, seems to be relatively close to the same dimensions, at least as far as the exhaust, inlet, and outlet are concerned. All right, sports fans, let me show you what I'm dealing with here. This. Uh, once I took the muffler off, this exhaust system looked pretty much like this. The flange that uh, you bolt the muffler to was uh, just totally rusted away, nothing left of it. So I came up with a, well, after a lot of hemming and hawing and test fitting and things, I came up with this. I got this reducer here that slides right over this pipe, like so. It fits uh, just about perfectly, okay. Um, at any rate, I'll probably have to, and yeah, so that slides on there very, very nicely, and now it pretty much mimics what I originally had on there, okay, the step-down pipe from the fact that that's the piece I cut off, and this uh, reducer is stepped down exactly the same way. The way the factory system worked is, uh, this piece slides into that muffler right there and a donut like this. A donut like this here would sli slide over this pipe here. Okay? And then that would go in the muffler there. Okay? And that flange would bolt to the no longer existing flange right there. Okay? So this is what I propose to do. This pipe here I'm going to slide over the exhaust pipe that hooks to the catalytic converter like I just showed you under the truck there. We'll put our donut on it. And that goes in there like that. Really nice, uh, really nice fit. Okay. Now I need a flange, though, so, and I also need to have this clamp to the pipe that's on the catalytic converter. So this is what I propose to do. All right. So I'll have this set up like this. This will be slid over the pipe that goes to the catalytic converter and clamped down, and then we'll bring that up. Okay. And then for my flange, what I propose to do here is I'm going to weld a nut on the top of the U-bolt and then on the bottom of the clamp there like that. So I'll weld two nuts to it and then I can put bolts through this uh, flange right here and that should seal it all up. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Alright sports fans, I go to use the welder and look at that. Boom! Okay, blew the breaker and uh, well, it's been a long time going, coming. I knew that cord was getting weak anyway right there. So uh, I knew that the time was coming to replace it. And uh, so I remembered I needed a new one when I was at the store, but didn't know exactly what kind I needed. So I just guessed. I sure hope I got the right kind. But there's one thing I want to show you here. So my welder comes with this kind of plug. That's what kind of plug was in it. But my uh, 220 plugs here in the shop are like that. Okay. So, what I did originally with this is rather than buying, replacing the plug on the welder or the plug on the wall, this is what I did. Is I bought a range cord that's the same as the plug on the wall, okay? And then I put a female end on it that's the same as the plug on the welder. Now, there's two advantages to that. I kind of have an extension cord for my welder. You can't uh, believe how many times where the standard cord is just barely out of reach of the plug. This helps quite a bit. But more importantly, it makes you a little more flexible. So if you take your welder somewhere else and you have that kind of plug, you're good to go. Uh, if you have that kind of outlet on the wall, you're good to go. But also, if you have this type of outlet on the wall, you're good to go. So it makes you a little more flexible without spending a whole lot more money than just uh, changing the plug to fit the particular one you have on your wall. You might as well have an extension cord slash adapter. And then we have the finished product sports fans and uh, I'll be able to get my welder considerably further away from the outlet than if I was just to uh, put a new cord on a welder that fit the wall. So this way you have an extension cord and you have a little bit of flexibility. If you take your welder somewhere else and you only have that type of plug on it, you're good to go. But if you have this type of plug, you're good to go too plus an extension cord. What more could you want? Here's my plan. I'm going to weld one nut right there on the U-bolt. 
okay? And I'll weld another nut right here on the clamp. So that way my clamp will be serving double duty as both a clamp and a flange. All right, I got everything set up here to weld it. Got it as close as I think I can get it to perfectly centered and perfectly square, which may or may not be perfect, but uh, just thought I'd point this out. One thing I'd like to do whenever I'm welding a nut on something, I like to put a bolt in it and that keeps the weld spatter from getting inside the threads of the nut. Not going to be able to show actual welding here because I don't want to set up the tripod for that little thing. You've seen people weld before. All right, there's our finished hose clamp slash flange. Now we'll just see if it works. All right, so here's the plan. We're, uh, this uh, reducer slides over the pipe that's on the catalytic converter and then we'll clamp it down tight. And then I got the nuts welded with the clamp. And then I got two bolts that'll go through the muffler flange. Which they had springs on them before, so I'm using it again. Two half inch bolts, and theoretically, I should be able to tighten it up. I got the donut there. So that is how that's going to work. I'm going to slip it on the truck and see if it actually works now. All right. I'm going to just sum everything up here. My pipe on my kettle converter, uh, the flange was rusted off. So I cut off the end of that uh, pipe where it got to be a larger diameter. If you have a similar situation, you would not have to do that, okay? Uh, if your flange is all rusted off, this is what I would do. I'd just get the correct size donut and slip it over the end. So that'll be just fine. And then you can just weld a nut to each side of your muffler clamp, okay? And then your exhaust uh, flange bolts from your muffler can go right into those nuts. Uh, I used half inch nuts on this. It worked pretty good. Um, and then now my clamp is serving double duty because since I cut that off, I had to get this reducer and it knocks it down from uh, two and a half inch pipe outside diameter to uh, two and a quarter, okay? Which is what pretty much what was on their factory before I cut it off. So I could have just left that alone. But if your flange is rotted out, you can probably duplicate the system here where I welded a nut to the bottom of a muffler clamp and then to the top of the U on a muffler clamp. And uh, cinch that down and then put your bolts through. And that's just about as good as factory, I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some longer bolts here so I can put the springs on in between the bolt and the uh, flange there. If you didn't make the mistake like I did and cut the pipe, you wouldn't need such long bolts. But I don't think that's really going to hurt anything for the bolts to be that long. It looks like it's a pretty good connection. The rest of the exhaust system was pretty simple. I just didn't have two hands to show you what I was doing and, and putting it together at the same time. But it's, it's pretty simple to assemble the rest of this exhaust system. Now, I haven't got everything totally tightened up yet, but it's pretty tight. And uh, let's see how she sounds. Yeah, it's a lot quieter than it, than it was before. The uh, aftermarket exhaust, this Megaflow exhaust exits out the side where the factory exhaust exited the rear. But uh, since there's no holes in the muffler, she is quite a bit quieter than she was than it was. And it'll be much quieter inside the vehicle because there's no more holes in the muffler. Here, I got the door closed and I'm revving it. I bet that doesn't even show up. Can you hear it? It doesn't sound much louder than any other car, so I think it was a Pretty good success there. If your flange is rusted out, don't cut off the end of the pipe coming off the catalytic converter. Just clean it up as good as you can so you can stick the factory donut on and then get a muffler clamp and weld a nut to the bottom of the clamp and weld a nut to the top of the U on the clamp and uh, put your bolts through and that'll work just about as good as the factory flange and you won't have to spend any money because that pipe and that catalytic converter is one piece welded unit. Uh, so I'm certain you'd be spending about, you know, 
oh, darn close to $200 to get a new catalytic converter for this vehicle. So for the cost of a muffler clamp and a couple nuts, you can uh, save that catalytic converter and uh, reassemble your exhaust that way. All right, sports fans, here it is, the moment of truth, the test drive. We're up to 55 miles an hour right now and uh, significantly quieter. So if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked, shared, subscribed, you know, do all the things it takes to make this the number one channel on YouTube. And until next time, we'll see you here on the Fix Yourself channel.